All right, welcome back to another podcast with Mr. Hagen. And on this podcast, we're going to continue to look at pure competition. And specifically, we're going to look at the three questions that every firm has to answer. Every firm has to answer the following three questions. And that is, number one, how much of the good are you going to produce? Whatever it is, if you produce televisions, how many televisions are you going to make? How do you answer that question? Question number two, uh, is our firm maximizing profit or is it minimizing its losses? Of course, if you, you, you prefer to make a profit, and if you're going to make a profit, you want to maximize it. Uh, if you are stuck making a loss, then you'd like to minimize that loss. You'd like to lose as, as little as possible. Uh, so the question is, is the firm engaged in a profit maximizing or a loss minimizing uh, strategy? So uh, we need to answer that question. And then number three, should the firm stay open or shut down? Should the firm uh, stay open or shut down? And, and so we're going to go through and we're going to answer these three questions by looking at different examples of uh, purely competitive firms. Let me say one last thing uh, before we do that. When I say shut down here, shut down is a, and I'll explain this a little bit later, but shut down is a short run question. That's a short run question, and that short run question exists when there are fixed costs. Okay, because that's what it means to be in the short run when some of your costs are fixed. Uh, if we were asking this question in the long run, then what we would say is uh, not should the firm stay open or shut down. The question would become should the firm stay open or should they exit? Should they exit the industry? And exit the industry means that's a long run question, and that means that they're going to leave the industry forever, never to return. The the uh, the company is going to cease to exist. So should the firm exit. Uh, but we're going to look at the short run example first. So we'll worry about the whole concept of exit uh, later on. So for now, we're going to say, should the firm stay open or should it uh, shut down? So, so let's take a look at that. And so the way that I've set this up, and by the way, these, these Qs are incorrect. Uh, these are capital Qs, uppercase Qs. They should be lowercase Qs because we're looking at individual firms, okay? So those should be uh, lowercase Qs. No big deal, but just fix it up, okay? Because we're using lowercase Qs to, individual, to, to uh, indicate individual firms and uppercase Qs in order to uh, indicate the entire market. So we're going to look at individual firms. So uh, I have three firms here, and we're going to look at these three firms, on, and we're going to look at three different conditions, and then under each of those conditions, we're going to answer the questions. Uh, we're going to answer three questions that we just talked about, how much to produce, profit or loss, uh, stay open or shut down. So let's start with the first one, and let's say we have our, uh, and I would recommend drawing these. I, I, the more you draw these, uh, the better uh, microeconomics student you're going to be. So I'd recommend drawing all of this, but here's a marginal cost curve for for some company, and it slopes down and then up, and then your average total cost curve, which slopes down, hits a minimum, and then rises. Uh, average variable cost slopes down, hits a minimum, and then rises. So there are my, my cost curves. And now I'm going to add the demand curve. Now I'm going to add a demand curve right here, okay? And, and, and the demand curve, remember, for the perfectly competitive firm, we've talked about this in previous videos, is uh, perfectly elastic. And so keep in mind that this is the, there's a lot of things here at once, actually. This is, the, this is the demand curve. It is the average revenue curve. It is the, mar not, that should not, not say plus, it should say equal, uh, that it is the uh, marginal revenue curve and it is the price. It's all four of those things at one time. It is demand, average revenue, marginal revenue, and price. All right, so let's go through and let's answer these, uh, let's answer these questions. So the first question is, how much do we produce? Well, the answer to that question, uh, which we've also talked about before, the answer to that question is marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So right here is your marginal revenue curve. That's right here. Okay, and then marginal cost curve is right here, so we're going to produce where the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost. Now, why do we produce there? Well, uh, if we produced right here, 
um, then the uh, marginal revenue is greater than the marginal cost. And whenever the marginal revenue is greater than the marginal cost, then we do it. If we produce here, the marginal revenue is greater than the marginal cost. So we do it. And we keep doing it until the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost uh, right there. We would not produce beyond this point because beyond this point, the marginal cost is greater than the marginal revenue. And so uh, we, would not, we would not do that. Now, let me, let me get rid of all of that. And let's just come back to the answer to our question, and that is how much would we, would we produce? We would produce where the marginal revenue is equal to the marginal cost, and that's going to be right here. Marginal revenue equals marginal cost, and so we'll produce at Q1. That will be our level of production. So the answer to question number one is Q1. We produce where the marginal revenue is equal to the marginal cost. Now, question number two, is that level of production, uh, is that an econ profit, a, a profit maximizing position or is that an economic loss a loss minimizing position well how would I know well I need to label things so once once I find this Q1 I now get tunnel vision okay I now get tunnel vision that means I can now ignore the rest of the graph we're gonna produce here at Q1 all right if we produce a Q1 then we're gonna go up to the uh, average revenue curve which is also the demand curve, the marginal revenue curve, and the price curve. We're going to go up to the average revenue curve and come across, and then we're going to mark that. There's my, there's my average revenue. That's my average revenue, uh, right there. And then, and then we're going to come up from Q1 to the uh, average total cost. That's right here, and come across, and then we're going to label that. That's our average total cost. That's the average total cost. And then we come up to the average variable cost. And we label that the average variable cost. So when we are producing at Q1, which is where we'll produce, because that's where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, when we're here at Q1, then, then this will be the average revenue, this will be the average total cost, and this will be the average variable cost. So we can now answer question number two. Am I producing at a profit or a loss? And the answer is that I am producing at an economic profit. I am producing in an economic profit. And what makes it an economic profit? Well, because the average revenue is greater than the average total cost. Okay, the average revenue, that's my evidence, average revenue is greater than average total cost. That's, that means it's an economic profit if my revenue is higher than my cost. And then technically speaking, I'm not going to leave this here. I'm going I'm to get rid of it. Uh, but technically speaking, right in here would be my economic profit. That would be it between the average revenue and the average total cost. That would be my economic profit. All right, so then uh, answer the next question, question number three, should I stay open or shut down? Well, clearly if I have an economic profit, I'm going to stay open. After all, an economic profit means by definition that I am beating my next best opportunity, right? Because the, the uh, cost curves include in it the implicit cost. It includes in it uh, the money that I could have made if I would have done something else. It includes in it the opportunity cost. So. If, if the money that we're currently making is greater than the money we could have made if we did something else, then clearly we're going to stay open. Clearly we're going to stay open. Now, the technical answer that I'm going to give, and, and I'm not going to explain it right now. I'll explain it on a future video. But the technical reason for why we would stay open is because the average revenue is greater than the average variable cost. The average revenue is greater than the average variable cost. So that's something right now I'm just going to say it. I'm not going to defend this statement right now, but I will defend that statement on uh, a future video. All right, so we got the first graph done. Uh, we answered three questions. I'm going to I'm going to stop here uh, because I, I don't want this video to go too long. Uh, I'll come back on another video and we'll talk about the answers to uh, these last two. So we'll do that in the future video and then we'll draw some uh, general conclusions at the bottom. All right, this has been Mr. Hagen on another Econ Podcast and we'll see you on the next podcast.